women lose interest in men that have them in their best interest. Oh, he's nice, but he's not for me. Oh, he's nice. One day he'll make somebody happy, but it's just not for me. Well, who's for you, sweetheart? Because every man you've been choosing seemed to leave you single. So who is actually for you? Have you came across a man that's for you? If so, why isn't he with you? We're trying to help you. Help us help you. Why are you still single, running up the best years of your life? You should be preserving yourself for a man that actually deserves it. Is there still something left for him to deserve? Is there still something left that he can appreciate? Have you given most of yourself to guys who don't appreciate you? Do you like being listening to the Murray J songs? Do, do you like to be in a position to complain? Or do you like to be in a position to say, I got a good man at home. He loves me. He loves spending time with me. Yeah, he's clingy, but I like that because he's clinging to me. He let me know that I'm on his mind. Yeah, I have a clingy man. Yeah, he's a little, it may come across controlling, but that's just because he care about me. Every time a woman come across a man that's, that's really into her, he's controlling, he's clingy. So, so most women like to be in a position to run after a man and to complain and talk to her friends an hour on the phone about why he's not doing nothing. <laughs> I've done everything for him, for what? So he can just look at you and say, okay, what's next? Okay, you gave me sex. Okay, you gave me sex. You gave me this. You gave me that. Okay, what? They don't like availability. Most women don't like availability. They don't feel like a victim. They like to be able to play. How you going to play victim with a good man? Hmm? How you going to complain when you're dealing with a man of God? A man that know what he want. How can you complain about a man that know what he want? Oh, he liked me. He's always on time. He's always cuddling with me. He's always massaging me. He's always concerned about my safety and my health and what I eat and who I'm around. He loved me too much. But the guy that got a wife or girlfriend or got plenty other chicks, plenty other women... Oh, when are you going to make more time for me? You don't never touch me. You don't never hold me. You don't never, why you don't never come? Are you attracted to me? I wear all this nice lingerie for you from Victoria's Secret. I, I, put, I, I give you your favorite positions. You don't like my positions? Is there anything you'd like me to do? Hmm? Anything you'd like me to do? But, you know, while we in the... I'm not promoting nobody to have premarital sex. I just know you're going to do it because your body is a grown person that didn't get married early like most of us. And you, your body is going to, you try holding, you try not to have, try not thinking about sex for a whole year and see what, and see what happened. Try not. Anything possible through the grace of God, but try it. Try it. At a certain age, you're supposed to be married and you're supposed to be getting it in with your mate. That's why he said in order to, to bypass all of this, all of this nonsense, you're supposed to got married earlier, but that's in the past. We got to deal with what we, where we at now. We can't go back. Tomorrow not promised and yesterday has gone forever. So we got to deal with now, the present. And women got to start liking men that like them. They got to start finding the best in the men that paying attention to them. Got to be of God. Got to be of good health. Got to want what he. Got to want the same things you want. Then the woman got to be of virtue. You can't be a Jezebel and express to get and expect to get a Boaz or expect to get a King David.
There's witches out here that's saying they want a good man. Witches. Real witches. I'm talking about selfish, evil women that don't really have no love in their heart. Talking about, I want a good man. Where all the real men at? People don't know who they are. I'm Alan Rillionaire. I can go on and on with this topic. But I got another video I want to make for you guys. And this phone only holds but so much. Anyway, um, stay prayed up, y'all. Everything you need is in the description box. Everything you want is in the description box. Those of you want to talk to me directly on a one-on-one -on -one basics about something you're going through in your life, your relationship, your health, your family, or somebody you dating, somebody you married to, somebody you interested in, and you want my opinion on it, hit me up on Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description box. Everything you need is in the description box. All the way to the books I wrote, the songs, the songs and albums that I have. You want to hear my music? You want to hear when I my thoughts on how I make music? You want to see that? Everything is in the description box. All my music, um, not all of it, but most of it. Um, and uh, my books, my T-shirts. If you want a Pookie and Ray Ray shirt, uh, message me on uh, Instagram. Let me know you want a Pookie and Ray Ray shirt. And uh, message me on Instagram with your address. You know, and uh, 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 let me know you want a Pookie and Ray Ray shirt. Uh, and send it to Cash App or PayPal. And give me your size, your name, and your address, and I'll send you the shirt. Okay? I want you, I want you to have the, the right size. I don't want you walking around looking like... You about to break out like the hawk or something. Anyway, much love to y'all. Alan Rick, Rillionaire Nation, we out. Check the description box out. Stay prayed up. Jesus is Lord. He's, we have a good God. He don't expect nothing out of us but us to give him attention. Because we try to do stuff on our own. It's called self-righteousness. People that try to be perfect or think they're perfect, that's just the ego. The, the Bible talk about self-righteousness. Bible like humble people that confess their sins. Jesus never used perfect people. I said Jesus never used perfect people. His disciples weren't perfect. God never used perfect people. Read the, read the Bible. Check out Google and say imperfect people in the Bible and watch what it say. You'll be surprised who were imperfect in the Bible that God still used and they still went to heaven. I'm Alan Rillionaire. I love you. Hit me up in the comment section. Press like, subscribe, the bell. For all the newcomers, press the bell so you can be notified for the next video on deck. If you any video you want me to make about a certain topic, shoot me a cash app and I'll and uh write in the video you want me to you make. Anyway, much love to you. I'll talk to y'all soon.